Cherokee National Treasurer Jane Oste presented an overview of Cherokee and Southeastern Woodland Pottery on March 18th at the Cherokee Heritage Center outside of Tahlequah. It was held in conjunction with the Anna Mitchell Legacy Exhibit. The class and exhibit was sponsored by a grant from the Oklahoma Arts Council. They usually had a band around them or some lodging, and these are some examples of the paddle stamping and marking. Jane mentored under Mitchell and considered her to be the forerunner of modern Cherokee pottery. Because of Anna's work, uh, she restored our pottery and I call it a vision restored. Osti also demonstrated paddle stamping and allowed the participants to give it a try for themselves. <laughs> Cherokee Tribal Council member Victoria Mitchell Vasquez, who is Anna Mitchell's daughter, was on hand to demonstrate making pottery and to speak about her mother. I spent uh, a year with mom and starting from scratch. She taught me how to process the clay, how to mix it, how to wedge it, so that. And I would love for mom to have known that I became a Cherokee National Treasure like her because of what she taught me. <clears throat> so Jane and I are carrying on my mom's legacy of the handbill pottery. Anna Mitchell was designated a Cherokee National Treasure in 1982 for reviving traditional handmade pottery among the Cherokee and for sharing her knowledge of pottery making with others. Vasquez is also a national treasure. She and Osti gave a tour of the exhibit. And I would say that this was made at the, at the peak of Anna's career when she was doing her very best work. Whenever Mother made this, this, this um, resembles an artifact from the Quapaw book about their pottery and they did a lot of red and white and color pottery and this is called Startled Fawn. Because we're bird clan, she often did a bird motif and these, this particular design came from, I believe, the Spiral Mounds. It was a shell carving. Annabelle Six Keller Mitchell grew up in Jay, Oklahoma. She was a self-taught artist who began in 1969 after her husband requested that she make a replica of Sequoia's pipe. That single project along with an encounter with the University of Arkansas's Archaeology Museum archives, led Mitchell to decades of studying, researching, and reviving southeastern-style pottery. I never dreamed that an exhibit would turn out so nice and that it truly reflects my mom and her legacy. So I'm excited. It's, it's just a, a great honor. The clay, you know, it I think it kind of, you can like it, and it likes you if you treat it right. <laughs> Osti also taught the participants to make their own clay turtles as a way to share in Anna Mitchell's legacy. She gave step-by-step -step instructions on how to mold, shape, and decorate the turtles. We will start by pulling the clay there like that. Either pinch some of that off or use it's more like, I, I think it's time to see. Okay. Just pinch a little bit off. Oh, very nice. The Cherokee Heritage Center is the premier cultural center for Cherokee tribal history, culture, and the arts. It is located at 21192 South Keeler Drive, Park Hill, Oklahoma.